Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from shopintegrator.com. This tutorial will tell you how to turn an ordinary website into an online shop in a matter of minutes using the Shop Integrator e-commerce add-ins. If you like this tutorial, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends. Now the easiest way of demonstrating just how easy this process is, is to head over to shopintegrator.com and click this button here, Get Started Free, which will enable you to sign up for a free trial account. And the free trial account will enable you to log into the Shop Integrator system and start adding e-commerce add-ins to your own website. And you'll be able to see just how easy it is. So what you would do is come to this page, fill in your details, click here to read the terms and conditions, check this radio button here if you're happy and click the register button. Shop Integrator will then send you an email a bit like this one and all you have to do is click this link which will just validate the email address you've given and you'll be all set and ready to go. Now that you've got your user details you can go back to the shopintegrator.com website, click the logon link up there enter your username and password in the text boxes and then click log on and this will take you to the shop integrator admin console which is where you control all your e-commerce add-ins and to carry on with our demonstration I'm going to go straight into the product section and the product section is where you would go to define the products that you're going to sell on your website now previously I've already created a number of example products but to show you how easy it is to create a new product I'm going to create a new one so I'm going to put in a stock code and I'm going to put in a description and I'm going to create a fridge freezer and I'm going to price it at 499 British pounds and stock control is turned on by default so I'm going to say that I've got 200 of them. If you don't want to use stock control for this product you can simply turn it off but for this purposes I'll leave it turned on. I've also already created some test categories and so for this product I'm going to put it in the kitchen category and I've got no idea how much a fridge freezer weighs but I'm going to guess it's 100 kilograms. Then I click add new product it shows me the new product I've created there and if I go to list all products it will show my new product at the bottom of the list. So I've now got a shop, I've got a set of products it's easy to add new products so I can carry on adding products as many as I need and then what I'm going to do I'm going to go back to the admin console homepage. so let's take a look at the website I want to turn into a shop so here's my demo site it's fairly basic it's just a standard HTML page and what I've done is I've marked with an X positions where I would like some e-commerce functionality so in this top right hand corner I'd like to put a view basket link. In these positions I would like to display some product information. Down here I'd like to summarise what's in the shopping cart. And here I'd like to add some currency control so that users can change currency if they need to. So what I'm going to do is head over to the admin console. Click add e-commerce to your website and I'm going to start with checkout and currency controls. Now here is the view basket link I'm after so I'm going to select that and I'm going to go down to part one. Now part one lists a script that has to go into the head of your HTML pages however you only need to put this script in once so once it's in there you don't need to worry about it anymore. So what I'm going to do is go into my HTML, find the head section of my page and I'm going to paste that in. Now I'm going to go back to the admin console and I'm going to cut and paste part 2 and part 2 is the script for the actual add-in. Back to my HTML 
here's the menu I've got running along the top right hand corner so I'm going to place the add in where the X was save that page back to my website and reload and there we've now got a new view basket link and if I click it I get the contents of my basket which is obviously empty at the moment because I haven't added anything to it and I can close that window so now what I'm going to do is add some currency control down here so I'm going to go into the admin console just scroll back up and the currency control is already in um, this section so all I need to do is select that add in copy the script from part 2 go back to my HTML uh, find the section I want to add currency control which is there paste that script in save the page back to the demo site hit reload and there we go there's some currency control I've only got one currency defined at the moment for my shop so it's only listing British pounds at the moment so back into the admin console now what I want to do is add a summary of what's in my basket so I'm going to go to shopper basket information and what I'm going to go for is a mini basket or cart list I'm going to select that I'm going to copy the code from part 2 back into my HTML and paste it into the correct section I'm going to save the page back to the demo site and reload and there we go, there's a summary of what's in my shopping basket which is obviously nothing at the moment right, next up I want to add a product to this product section here so I'm going to go back to the admin console click sell single product and then I'm going to select stock code 30 which was the fridge freezer I created earlier now there's a number of uh, add-ins you can add for an individual product such as buy buttons or you can pull in any of the information related to that product like the price, the weight or the title but I'm just going to go for a standard interactive price tag which is the default down to part 2, copy the code back to the HTML find the section I want to display that product and paste in the script and then while I'm here I'm going to change I'm going to change the title of that section of the site and I'm going to save that back to my demo site reload and there we go there's the interactive price tag for my fridge freezer which allows users to select a quantity and add it to their basket right next up is my automotive products and I'm going to go back into the admin console and I'm going to select sell multiple products now what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to select a category of automotive and I'm going to add an interactive table of products for that particular category and what it's going to do is add a table containing all my automotive products so I'm going to copy the script in part 2 back into the HTML paste into the page save the page back to the demo page reload it and there we've got a list of all the products in my automotive category now obviously what you can do now is advertise individual products wherever you need to or you can have lists of products from a particular category so depending on what sort of products you're selling you could obviously create category pages for particular products and list them or you can highlight particular um, products using the interactive price tag now what the user can do is buy a product 
and it updates the mini cart down here. And buy automotive products from this list as well. And all the time it updates this mini cart. And if the user goes to view basket, they will get a summary of their purchases. And if they need to, they can remove items or they can obviously adjust the quantities and then they can proceed to the checkout or completely empty their basket if they need to start again and there we have it now although I did a lot of to and fro in between the demo page and the HTML page obviously I could have simply gone in to the admin console cut and pasted the script I needed and simply gone in and pasted it in the five um, positions we've got here, paste it all in one go, refresh the page, and it would have all been there ready to go. Thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other tutorials. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please remember to click the like button, and if possible, share with your friends and family on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.